Who knew a vampire facelift, calamari oil, a pomegranate or two, a little dose of intensive pulse light, some super nutrients and sweating it out at the gym are clever ways to keep your skin healthy and gorgeous for life, no matter what your age. Dr. Martin Braun and Lorna Vanderheg have wrapped almost everything you've ever wanted to know about our largest organ in a book called Beautiful Skin Begins Within. Lorna is considered Canada's leading women's natural health expert. She's a researcher too. Dr. Braun is an accomplished and respected cosmetic rejuvenation physician and both have managed to turn back a little time. As Picasso said, it takes a long time to become young, like us. Absolutely. And a little bit of maintenance to boot. Well, we have to remember, you know, it, it's all about how do we live our life, you know, before we're 50, 60. Mm -hmm. And that's why we wrote the book all about changing the skin from within and without. How did you get together? Why did you get together? Well, I actually met Dr. Braun when my one of my children had excessive sweating as a teenager. And I researched all the different treatments you could do for excessive sweating. It's called hyperhidrosis. And it was really affecting her life because, of course, mm -hmm. excessive sweating is nasty. And I researched that uh, you could use Botox in the armpits. And it was covered by, part of it was covered by BC Medical. And so as a result, I met Dr. Braun. And it's safe, obviously. Yes, and works literally 100% of the time. I wish everything in medicine worked as well. Yeah. as Botox for hyperhidrosis. Mm. And I hear tell they use Botox for other things. Oh, and yes. We will get there. But first, in the book you say there are three secrets to beautiful skin. They are what? Well, first we want to treat the skin from the inside. So it's all about what you eat and how you take care of your skin. And, of course, excessive sun exposure is not a good thing. Uh, those would be a couple of them. And, of course, we can repair the skin using nutrients. And then we can also use topical treatments. Mm-hmm. Hence, uh, the within part, the sardines and the lima beans and the, the calamari oil and all of that. What are the superfoods? What are the super nutrients we should be uh, putting into our bodies? Right. Well, when we look at the super nutrients for skin, we really want to look at the things that have lots of clinical research behind them. And now we can rebuild collagen. And, you know, when a baby's born, they're 90% collagen. And as we age, we lose a little bit. But we don't have to now. We've got good research showing ways we can rebuild collagen, and then fatty acids. We have heard so much about fish and flaxseed oil, but those are really not the fatty acids for skin. We really want to look for things like GLA. Okay, and is that borage oil? Yes. Borage for borage? You see, I take it. I, I uh, drink it. Yes, absolutely. Along with a few other things. Yeah. But... Well, GLA is interesting because it's a fatty acid that comes from the borage seed. It has lots of research for improving the moisture content in the skin. It's also found um, in other things like evening primrose oil, but borage has the highest concentration of GLA. And when women go through menopause, they can no longer make GLA from their food. Really? They have what about to get men? It. They don't go through menopause, so they continue to make GLA. We don't know. They haven't done any research in men yet to to see if they still manufacture GLA. My feeling is probably that as we age, there's an enzyme that's impaired, and we just can't make okay. it from our food. So we have to get it from a bottle. When you see a client, can you tell how much collagen they've lost, or can you dis discover why they've lost collagen? Well, generally, well, one, we can't do anything about our genetic makeup. You know, we got that from our mom and dad. But you can do something about your lifestyle. And the main thing is sun, sun exposure, all that ultraviolet light. But people love the sun, which is great for my business. I'm sure it is. And then also the poor diets. You know, this whole business of a low-fat diet, it should really be a low-saturated fat diet. Mm. You know, things like the uh, French fries made in, you know, high-temperature cooking oil would not be healthy for you. But people confuse that with important fatty acids like the GLA. You so, know, a good example. Uh, when you lose collagen, what happens to the face on the outside? Y you have well, a client who's lost collagen, a few wrinkles, a few more wrinkles, obviously, a little sagging. Yes, exactly. And, and we start getting deep grooves and very fine lines mm -hmm. all, all over the face. And we also get it elsewhere, but a good way to tell your intrinsic aging is to look on the skin on the inside of your arm. And I'll often do that with patients. I'll say, let's have a look there, because they'll claim that they inherited poor DNA. And you look on the inside of their arm, and it lacks brown spots, broken capillaries, large pores, fine lines. So mm -hmm. I tell them, the face you know, is the same age as your arm. They came out at the same time. So that shows you what the sun did 
to your face yes. compared to the inside of the arm. Even I would bear my inner arm on television, <laughs> yeah. right? Because yes. it is, it's smooth as yeah. a baby's bum, as yes. they say. Mm -hmm. That's right. So no sun, that's, that's a yeah. biggie. Well, wearing SPF, and then it, for many of us, it's a little late. I didn't behave till I was about 40. And, and, and you have all those years of ultraviolet light exposure, which you can't do anything about now, except try to repair and maintain the skin going forward to a larger degree. And so that's what this book was about, you okay. know, showing things that one can take that are relatively simple. And from the inside, something that prevents sun damage, uh, lycopene? Okay. In the tomato? Well, you know, See, I've we, read the book. Yeah, we have to worry about too much sun exposure and, you know, avoiding the sun between the hours when you're going to get burned. Um, but when we look at how to protect you from things like excessive aging in the skin, if we're looking at nutrients, it would be definitely the antioxidants like vitamins A, C, E, selenium, and zinc. Mm -hmm. And that's why we put vitamin A in the form of retin A on our skin because it also has a benefit. So eating these things and applying topicals will go a long way. And yes, lycopene found in our fruits and vegetables and other antioxidants. The GLA actually has got good research for helping to um, protect the skin's integrity against the sun. And if somebody has severe sun damage, what can you do about it as a rejuvenation doctor? Well, one thing is having them on the proper topicals because I find if someone's very damaged, if we attempt to laser them, they have a difficulty with healing. So often we'll put them on good topicals, like for example, a vitamin A cream, retinol is vitamin A, for four to six weeks prior to the procedure. So then they will respond much better. What about brown spots? Okay. Uh, um, the most popular like procedure are those that don't have any downtime, and that's intense pulse light. It's a flash of light, but not ultraviolet light, visible light. And it's a very intense light. It's absorbed by the brown spots. They come to the surface and then lighten, or broken capillaries will fade. So it stings a little bit. Tight, like a rubber band snapping on the skin. I'm pretending I've yes. never had that done, but I have. <laughs> well, so and have I, and I love it. Mm. So it's my favorite thing and I mean it gets rid of those awful brown spots mm -hmm. on the back of the hands and it also helps rebuild collagen. And when you're lying on the table they give you a little cold air so yes. if it bothers you you hold the cold air and they go zap zap zap. What's yes. zapping you exactly? You can also use different lasers. There are lasers such as the Diolite is a good example of one that you can trace little capillaries and fade them. So what is the body saying? Uh, you get a zap and the body's saying, ouch, I should make some collagen or what? Well, heat is your friend. And so when we subject the skin to heat, you make more collagen. Mm. But you also need the substrates to make the collagen. If your skin is very unhealthy and you don't have, for example, any of the antioxidants, the retinol, the collagen precursors, you know, that's where a supplement can help you as well. You'll be able to make more collagen. You have to be able to make it as well. Sure. And our ability to make it, for example, like Lorna just said, the GLA, you know, literally ceases as we age. And most people I know want to look dewy, fresh. They don't mind looking their age so much. Mm -hmm. They just want to look the best they can look. Right. And at the age they yes. are. And we can do that. that. That was the reason why we wrote the book, was to really combine the best of what we both do. Right. You know, um, looking at nutrition as a key point and getting enough sleep and even simple things like having a silk pillowcase so your face doesn't have the embedded, you know, sheets in it when you wake up mm -hmm. in the morning and taking good care of your skin so that when you do go to have cosmetic treatments, because many of us are having them these days, billions of dollars are being spent, that your treatments last longer and if you ever do have to go one step further and have some kind of surgical procedure, the doctor has something to work with. And as you know, there's what they call the facelift without surgery yes. or the vampire facelift. Mm -hmm. What is that? The vampire lift was coined in the States and that's where you take your own blood, you extract the platelets, those are little cells that um, degranulate when mm -hmm. you have a cut. So one, you stop bleeding and two, now you make collagen. So if you get a cut or a broken bone, it's the platelets that orchestrate the healing process. So the Italians and the Koreans basically did a lot of the pioneering work that figured out if we inject these platelets in our skin around wrinkles, it will look better. And so you can make your own collagen using your own blood products. And it somehow sounds safer. It does. Yes, because it's know. your own blood. It's your yes. own blood yeah. and it's your 
it's your stuff. Exactly. Uh, if you're not using your stuff, what other fillers are there? The biodegradable ones are all made from hyaluronic acid, and that's the gel that we're made of. Our collagen is embedded in hyaluronic acid. And when you pick up a baby, they feel so nice because they're full of collagen mm -hmm. and hyaluronic acid. So those are two things that one can inject as well. And you inject with um, a, fine a very needle. sharp needle? Yeah, a very fine needle. I'm yeah. suspecting. Like my face, nothing's real. It's all been injected. <laughs> you know, not looking at anything real. I've had one or two myself. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. so, and it is we amazing. we cave in as we age. And so. uh, the perfect face, the woman who doesn't exist, mm -hmm. or perhaps the man mm -hmm. who doesn't exist. When we come back from the break, I know you've got a magic instrument in your pocket called yes. a caliper. I'll pull it out then for everybody. Okay, and, and you can measure, Lauren, and we can talk about balance in the face and harmony in the face. What Da Vinci knew about beauty? Yes. Okay? Beautiful Skin Begins Within, uh, Dr. Martin Braun, Lorna Vanderhaeg, my guest.